Hey, it's Gavin here. I hope you're well. I've carved out a little bit of time while my little one is around the corner watching Doc McStuffins. So I wanted to give you a little workout that you can do with me. We're going to kick off in, I guess, around about 10 seconds or so. And we're going to do full body extensions, a little bit of ab work, more cardio, abs, cardio, abs, cardio, abs, over the course of 10 minutes. So we're going to go 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. First exercise is full body extensions. It looks like this. So we start on the heels, going to whip your arms up, bring them nice and high, swing them back down. So get into a swinging motion, like so. If you can do that on the heels, then you might even want to come up high, get up onto the toes, swing them back down. That's what we're looking for. Are you ready? I hope so. All right, let's go. Two, one, boom. Here we go. So 45 seconds. If your balance is a little bit shoddy and you're not sure whether you can come up into the heels, then it's fine to stay down on the ground. That's not a problem. So this is what we're looking for if you're staying on the floor with the heels. But this is a good exercise, especially if you can't do all the jumping up and down, you know, when you're jumping jacks and tuck jumps and all that malarkey. This is a great exercise. Now the arms are just relaxed. Swing them up. Try and get them right next to the side of the head. And say just 45 seconds of work here. You can speed it up once you get the hang of it. And that's going to get the heart rate up that little bit higher. I might even face you now. All right, so this is what we're doing. Swing them up. Nice, simple exercise. There you go. So that's the first one done. Right, 15 seconds rest. We're going to go down to the ground. We're going to high plank. Now I'm going to do my hands on the floor. But if you find this tricky, you can put your hands on the table, the chair, wherever you feel more comfortable, okay? All right, down we go, high plank. So I'm locking myself in position here, hands are under the shoulders, feet are together, I'm squeezing my butt cheeks, pulling my abs up, I'm trying to bring that belly button in, and also I'm controlling my breathing, so I'm trying not to hold the breath. So breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And what we're looking for is kind of like a straight line position here, okay? You don't want your bum up in the air, you don't want your hips sagging down like this either, that's a no-go. It's a nice solid position, we've got seven seconds left, and we've got that little rest again. Three, two, and one. Voila. All right, 15 seconds rest. All right, next up, we're gonna go with some stance jacks. If you can't do a lot of jumping up and down, you need something a little bit more low impact, this is what I recommend. So you're going to step to the side, reach, step, reach. However, if you can, well, if you're a bit more agile, shall I say, this is what we're looking for. A little hop and drop. Okay, starting right now. Let's go. So a little hop and drop. Show you from the side, back straight. Keeping the head just looking forward slightly. Here we go. So again, just trying to get that heart rate up. I'll face you. You keep going. If you see me stop for any reason, if I start talking about technique, you keep going. You don't have to stop. All right, so the heart rate's starting to get up now. And it's been an awful day here, chucking it down with rain. Not nice at all, so good to be indoors. A few more seconds to go, keep strong. Reach it down, butt out, back straight, watch the piano. Relax, 15 seconds again. All right, we're gonna go down. And this time, we're gonna go with a rotating side plank. Again, if you need to, chair, table. And I'll tell you what, even if you do the full version, you need to rest, that's absolutely fine. So I'll show you before you get started. This is what it looks like. Hand position is like this. And this is what you're looking for. You're gonna roll one way. Strong line, come back, roll the other way. That's it. Again, try not to let your hips sag down, keep them up. Roll, roll. Get into a good rhythm. 15 seconds to go. Stay strong, reach up high, slightly behind, open up the chest. And that is it. All right, so back up. All right, so 15 seconds rest. Next up, 
we're gonna go squat with a toe tap, but try and do it with a bit of pace. So we're trying to keep that heart rate up, so I'll show you what we're looking for. You come down, you squat, you come up, tap, down, tap. So we're looking for a bit of pace from the side. Let's go. So we're here, tap, and that's it. So pick up the pace. Don't have to worry about going all the way down to that full squat. And if you can't reach your foot, that's fine. Just reach towards the shin, even just the knee. I don't mind really. Wherever you feel that I'm more comfortable with. It's all about adapting sometimes. Make sure you can get a workout done. So I try and offer plenty of modifications through these routines. But you all, you all know your body better than I do and what you can do and what you can't do. Keep on it now. Nice quick pace. Getting the legs to burn up a little bit. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Boom. Relax. All right, so not too bad there, not too bad at all. All right, we're gonna go back down to the ground. We're gonna go with a bicycle. All right, so move this out a bit. All right, hopefully you can see me. Okay, starting right now. So on our backs, we're here, rotate. Now a lot of people, when they do this, don't get the legs up all the way. Now if you can't get your legs up all the way and your back starts to arch up, just aim a little bit higher up. It's gonna take the pressure off the back, make it a bit easier. Let's get my shoulder off the ground. Breathing out as I twist, keeping the abs pulled in. Come on now, stay with it. Nearly there, nearly there. Good, 50 more seconds. Last few seconds now. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we got the 15 seconds rest. Now, should be feeling a little bit warm, I'm getting a, maybe a little bit of a swell. All right, looking to bring up the pace again. You ready? All right, this time, we're gonna go with some punch jacks, okay? Now again, if you can't jump up and down, you can't do this movement, and then all I want you to do is step, punch, step, punch, punch, okay? Easy, you can do that. Otherwise, with me, that's all it is. Cue the pace up, you can go that little bit quicker, try and work the body. Let's move those feet. There we go, keep the breathing going. Living the dream now. Say all the smiles. Come on, work with me. Big, big effort, go. Faster. Ten seconds to go. Almost done. Quick, get those feet wide. Try to touch the heels down if you can. Whew. That was nice, good one. All right, 15 seconds rest. Next up, we're gonna go slow, very, very slow crossbody mountain climber. So similar to the high plank, we're gonna be on the hands, getting on the table or chair if we need to. I'm gonna go down to the floor. I'm gonna show you before we get going. All right, let's get start time now, why not? All right, so you're on the hands. You're just gonna bring your knee over and across towards the elbow. That's all it is. I'm gonna go even slower than that. I'm trying to get a good twist in there. It's a lot harder than it looks. Engage the abs a wee bit more. Make sure you don't hold your breath. 15 seconds to go. And remember, if you need to rest, that's fine. But get back on it quickly. I often say give yourself a three second rest and get back to work. No need to rest now though, because we're done. All right, All right we're gonna go two more. Okay, just two more. 15 seconds rest. Now, last couple of exercises, are you ready? All right, I'm gonna bring in the old lateral slide. This is one of my favorite ones, actually. It's a lot harder than it looks. 
All it is, I'm gonna go from one side of the floor to the other. Looks like this. I'm gonna reach down. I'm trying to keep my back straight as I push my butt out. So what I want to avoid is the hunchback. So stepping across, just two or three steps. That's all it is, but that change of direction just zaps your energy. And again, you don't have to touch the floor. Don't worry about that. Just reach down to your shin, your knee. I don't mind. It's up to you, but it's that quick change of direction. Just keep that movement going. We've got one more exercise after this. Big, big effort. Come on. Let's go. Whew. That wasn't too bad. All right, last one. We're going to go down on the ground again. Flutter kicks. This is a great, great exercise. One of my favorite ones, this is. All right, so we've got a 15 second rest. Well, I, while we rest, let me show you. Two ways of doing this. Hands out in front. Shoulders off the ground, like so. Abs tight. If you feel your back arching off the ground, that's a good idea to actually have your hands under the butt. Give yourself a bit of a shelf, which will push your lower back down. And if your neck strains, then you can rest it on the floor, that's fine. Or have a cushion underneath it, however you want to do it, okay? But let's go, time is on. Straight legs, if you can. I've got my legs quite low to the ground there, but if you're struggling, just bring them that little bit higher up, okay? Push your lower back down into the ground. Just keep going, last few seconds. I just looked at the timer there, and obviously when I put my my hands under my butt, I've stopped the timer. So I don't know how long we've got left. We'll see. Do you just stick with me? I'm gonna guess this one. Control the breathing. Keep those abs tight. What do you reckon? Is that it yet? Nah, nah, nah. Keep going, keep going. 15 seconds, should we say? Yeah, 15 will do. All right, 10 seconds. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go, must have set it off actually. So, here we have it. Little lady behind there was well behaved. Grace, are you okay? She's okay, we're good. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. If you've got extra time and you want to, play the video again, go through it again, challenge yourself if you've got the time. Otherwise, give yourself a stretch, grab some water, and enjoy the rest of your day, whether it's morning, evening, afternoon. You crack on, enjoy the rest of it. All right, bye for now. And if you, uh, if you have any comments, stick them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, bye.